Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as Green Acting Exotics here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, but I love all signs. I love everybody. I deal with all signs, but I think you'll find guys as a Pisces, I try to do lots of different things here on my channel. So please stay tuned to all of the amazing things coming. I do member perk memberships. Um, I have my website. I do personal readings. I do all kinds of amazing stuff. I also have subscription boxes that you can sign up for. So I have lots of fun different things that I do on my channel. So I really hope that you'll look around and that you'll join the family and that you'll subscribe. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so much. Guys, as you know, these readings are always very general. So anything that is pertaining to your particular energy, please, anything that is pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below. How to book personal readings with me, how to donate to my channel, how to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, any type of sales or deals or anything, everything will always be linked down below in regards to my channel. So with all that being said, guys, let's get into the video. All right. Hey Scorpio, welcome to your mid-month energy check-in for March 2021. Let's dive into it. I hope you guys are doing well. So I want to take a peek. So what I decided to do this month was I'm going to pull a couple tarot for like overall energy. I'm going to pull a cue card, clarify, then I'll pull some life oracles, monology, and then we'll end with a mindful message. All right, so let's get into it, Scorpio. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, all right. So Scorpio's already what I'm getting is that especially with the way that the cards shuffle like that. Some of you, you're speaking up more. Like I can tell with the way that the cards were shuffling, like you're getting there, like you're taking the steps to get there, but you're still holding yourself back from saying certain things. Do you know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Like there's still something that maybe you're not wanting to bring up, bring up, bring up. Oh my God. Guys, I have had the worst time speaking for the past like two weeks. Oh my God. That's a little scary. I feel like I might be a tad concerned at this point. At any rate, Scorpios, I'm so sorry. So, yeah. So, you, there's something that you guys are, like, not saying. Like, there's still something that you're holding back on. And it's something because you don't want to disrupt the peace, right? You don't want to rock the boat, which is commendable. I totally get it and I totally understand. And I think that's, that's really nice and it's really sweet. But, you know, unfortunately, you can't always hold back like that because then what happens is you know explosions and fights and arguments because things are being unsaid and and it causes resentment like it just that's exactly why a lot of relationships whether it be romantic or not or platonic or whatever that's exactly why things like that don't work because it's kind of just like you get into an energy of just never wanting to say anything and then it's like you're not really being your authentic self because you feel like you can't be with someone do you know what i mean so that's for those who that's resonating for it was just like an intro side message but that's what I'm getting for you guys for sure. Like for a lot of you actually. Like it's really like a good portion of you that are kind of going through that energy. So let's take a peek. All right. So what do we got for my Scorpios? My Scorpios that are watching now and my Scorpios that will be watching later. Oh, okay. Those just wanted to pop out. What else we got for them? What else we got? Thank you. Some of you, um, this is not for all of you, not for all of you, but some of you, and the only reason why I say that is because look at how this mother of pentacles and son of wands popped out. If, so some of you, not all of you, but some of you, I don't know if it's been recent, it could be recently or it could be from a while ago, but some of you have somebody that you've lost that's on the other side that they're watching over you. And I really feel... It's really for my male Scorpios, actually. This is for my male Scorpios. This is not really for my female Scorpios. I'm picking up a lot of motherly energy here for my male Scorpios of somebody that they may have lost that's watching over them from the other side. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. That doesn't usually happen too, too often, but when it does, I like to mention it because it, you know, it pops up for a reason. So it's obviously out there for somebody that it resonates with. So if you've recently lost someone or... You do have somebody that, you know, it could have been your actual mom or somebody that you really looked up to as a motherly figure. 
um, somebody that you respected, not only loved, but respected. I, I like respected is like a big word here. So um, just know that they are uh, watching over you, okay? So now Scorpio, so here you guys have, um, you have the seven of wands, which is obviously you guys are, like I said, you guys are self-protecting, right? And you have the three of cups, which is talking about friendship, circle of support. So there's a couple of people that you actually do rely on here and they actually do provide a really good support system for you. But you guys still feel very closed off, you know, from very much maybe like the, the rest of the world. Almost from like people that don't really get you, right? But you've always been, like I said, you, you know, you're a very resourceful person. You land on your feet. Always find a way to make it happen, right? And um, a very free-spirited, creative person as well. So you guys have a lot of good energy here um, towards the rest of this month. You do have like a small circle of support. The only thing that they're saying for you guys to work on is that... Uh, speaking, expressing that, the, the, your voice, expressing concern, right? Like actually letting what is bothering you out, don't keep it um, in and being your authentic self, you know, like not worrying if somebody's going to get mad because you bring something up or whatever. No, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. You, you know what I mean? Just do it in a tactful manner. All right. So that's what we have for overall tarot. Let's get a cue card for my Scorpios. Let's see. I am so excited to go downstairs and cook because I bought some white sticky rice and some sweet and sour chicken i'm gonna make for me and micah today okay so you guys act, what do i always say i always say for like different signs certain cards pop out like more it's hilarious but i always go with the flu so you guys got please stand by see again again with the cards shuffling again see yep all right, please stand by, require stillness, and watch your back. All right, so why is watch your back here for my Scorpios? Why is watch your back here for my Scorpios? Thank you. Why is require stillness here? Why is require stillness here for my Scorpios? Hold on, Scorpios. Because I know my son is downstairs and he's trying to be really, really super quiet. Because he knows I just have this one last video to get done. So he is being a very good boy. But I'm scared. You know what? No. We're going to. Yep. Why is please stand by here? Thank you. And I knew they were going to pop out too anyway. But I was like, let me just make sure. All right. All right, Scorpios. You guys got my mind blown. You guys are doing my head in. So let's start with the. Actually, let's start with the watch your back. Watch your back is clarified by the death card, all right? Don't take it literally, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, you know. It's just say watch your back because um, the death card is just, it's big changes. Endings coming, time to move on from things, right? Being, you know, reborn, transforming, things like that. So when they're saying like watch your back, it's because it might happen unexpectedly and it might not be something that you want to happen, but it's going to be something that needs to happen, okay? So just take that as it resonates, but it's not like a terrible thing, you know what I mean? Then you guys got require stillness, which is clarified by the two of wands, which how funny is that? Because, right, what is it? It's waiting for results, making a choice, actually either going towards something, somebody coming towards you, you going towards somebody, like movement, right? There's movement. You're waiting for results, but eventually there's going to be movement, right? So require stillness. They're telling you, wait it out or make a choice, depending on what situation resonates with you. All right? That's what that one was about. And then you guys got please stand by. So you guys got the Ten of Swords, okay, clarifying the please stand by. You guys got the Ten of Swords and then the Seven of Wands, all right? So the Seven of Wands is obviously being very, very self-protected, right? Guarding yourself, right? Because you're, you know, just making sure you want everything to kind of go with the flow, right? you know, from here on out. And then the Ten of Swords, we already know the Ten of Swords is that's, you know, that's hitting complete rock bottom, you know? But when you hit complete rock bottom... That's what's coming. That's why they say please stand by because it's like you're self-protecting, but you're going to come out of it, right? So even though you're still a little bit in this energy, not a lot because I am I am getting a lot of you are working on this. I know you guys are, but some of you out there definitely still are in the energy, right? So once you come out of it, you're going to be self-protecting, you know, going through whatever grief that you need to go through. And then that's why it says please stand by because once all that's done, bam, all that other shit comes, right? I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. What a life oracle do we have for my Scorpios? For my Scorpios watching now and my Scorpios who will be watching later. 
All right. Wow, Scorpios. All right, so let's get into it. So you guys got start a side hustle. The best way to become your own boss is to start a side hustle. Oh, that's actually a good energy for a lot of you because a lot of you don't realize that you do have that, that you guys literally could start something, but a lot of you have that fear behind it of like, will it pan out? Should I take the risk? Plan your career. And don't you love, I always say, I love the little girl because it just shows it's never really too late, you know? Create milestones and have a strategy to set yourself up for success. It's never too late, guys. Cut your screen time, put the phone down, turn off the TV and computer and get active. Avoid toxic people. Hang out with people who will uplift your spirit, not bring it down. Hydrate. Drinking lots of water will make a huge difference in the way that you feel. <clears throat> it really does. And a lot of you probably, it's funny because a lot of you are probably sitting there like scratching, maybe. Like you, I, I feel like I'm seeing some of you going like this, maybe like itching or whatever. It's because you're not hydrating. There's not enough water in your system. Our body is made of water. So it's like if you don't consume enough of it. I mean, I'm not one to talk because I definitely need to consume more. But I do consume a lot. It's just not all the water that they always tell me to do. But um, enough, you know what I mean? Because it is. It's important. It dries out your skin. You get itchy. It's almost like an alligator out of the the swamp or something, you know, or something like a, something that gets scaly, you know, if they're out of the water when they need the water, it's one of those. And then you guys got level up. Start small, start today, just start. The sky's the limit. All right, what monology card do we have for my Scorpios? What monology card do we have for my Scorpios? Your commitment is being tested. See? Funny, right? That's what I was saying. Because I was saying, I'm like, just keep going, right? Like, keep going towards the energy that you want. Don't, like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, obviously, there's going to be trouble. You're going to, there's going to be stumbling, whatever. But it's kind of like that whole Rocky movie, right? Like, just get back up. Get back up. Keep trying. Keep trying. Like, keep trying. Don't give up. Very strong message. Don't give up. You know what, Scorpios? This is the trend for you. We're just going to take them. Yeah, you guys got two. This one is the cute thing, whatever. So it's not a real card. but So the first one, mindful message you guys got was expansive. Every day I am learning new things and expanding into my highest potential. Then you guys got inspiration board. If I am ever feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy. A lot of you, I'm telling you, you need to do this to keep this around you. Not only can you have spiritual stuff, but you can have anything um, that you're trying to manifest. You know, like pictures, visuals, whatever. Don't focus so much on it, but you can have it around where like you look at it once a day or something like that, right? Very, very strong message. Something that is going to visually... Um, get you motivated and keep you motivated, okay? Um, I'm very much like that too. Like, I like to see pretty things. I have to mess with pretty things. Like, it just, it keeps me going. So, that's what I have for you guys, Scorpio. I hope that this resonated. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys next month. Mwah!